Unastahili kuabudiwa Unastahili Yesu Unastahili kuabudiwa Unastahili ni kama wewe Unastahili kuabudiwa Unastahili
Uwiteka mana yacu tuje imbere yawe muri iki gitondo kugushima mana tuje imbere yawe mana muri iki gitondo kuguhimbaza kugushima kukuri imana yo gushimwa kugushima kukuri imana twabonye mu bikomeye kugushima kukuri imana tubona no muri ibi bihe kugushima muri iki gihe mana cya covid kugushima ibihe byose mana byaba byakwirabura byaba byakwera dukwiriye kugushima mana kandi tuzahora tugushima ibihe byose tuzahora tuvuga ngo uri imana data tuzahora tuvuga ngo uri imana ikomeye tuzahora tuvuga ngo uri imana insumba byose tuzahora tuvuga ngo uri imana uri imana uri imana uri imana ivuga bikaba wategeka bigakomera papa mana ishobora byose oh turagushima mana muri iki gitondo turagushima mana kubitoro ryose turagushima mana kuri iki gitondo kiza waduhaye turagushima kwabanye natwe muri ibihe muri iki cyumweru kirangiye cyose tukaba tuje imbere yawe tuvugukiza bwawe tukaba tuje imbere yawe tugushima tukaba tuje imbere yawe tuguhimbaza tukaba tuje imbere yawe tuvugukiza bwawe tukaba tuje imbere yawe tukurata mana tukaba tuje tuje tukuvuga mana uri imana uri imana kandi uzahora imana uzahora uri imana uri imana idahinduka ukuri kwa imana kibiri ya bihe ni kuri imana kandi ni kuzahora uri imana data kuzagera iherezo mana mana shobora byose turagutse imbere yawe mana tuje imbere yawe duciye bugufi papa tuje imbere yawe duciye bugufi kuko turabanya byaha kuko turabanya byaha turabanya byaha mana utubabarire papa utubabarire mana twe ni mina bana bacu utubabarire twe ni miryango yacu ubabarire itoro ryawe ryose mana ishobora byose utugirira ubuntu mana tuzi kuri imana inyemba baze tuzi kuri imana inyemba baze tuzi kuri imana inyemba baze imba baze zawe ntizishira imba baze zawe zihora huiteka imba baze zawe zihora huiteka kwize imba baze zawe mana kwize imba baze zawe muri iki gitondo kwize imba baze zawe kitororo ryose Manu tugirire neza manu tugirire neza manu tugirire neza umugisha buri wese manu rahangaha umugisha buri wese udukurikiye umugisha data bana bawe reka twongere tukubone reka twongere tukubone reka twongere tukumbe tukumbe kwimana tukumbe kwimana dusubizwa mu imbaraga dusubizwa mu itiringiro mana ishobora byose ukuri imana ya kukuri imana yacu kukuri imana yacu uri imana yacu turagushima mana turagushima mana turagushima mana tukweretsa materaniro y'iki gitondo tukweretsa materaniro y'uyu munsi mana ishobora byo turakwinyize ngo wigaragaze papa turakwinyize ngo wigaragaze mana yacu uwigaragaze mu ndirimbo uwigaragaze mu ijambo uwigaragaze mu buhamya uwigaragaze mana ishobora byo tuyoberwe numwuka wawe tubugishwe numwuka wawe dukoreshwe numwuka wawe tubugi bituruka kuri wowe mana tubugi bituruka ku mutima wawe mana ishobora byose ndakweretse mana mana ngo nkoreshe nge numusemuzi wange nge numusemuzi wange mana tubugi byawe gusa tubugi byawe gusa mana ibyacu bihambe ibyacu bihambe hagaragara ibyawe gusa mana hagaragara ibyawe gusa mana turagushima mana turiye kugiye kwivugira papa turagushima kugiye kwivugira kwebwe tukaba mikoro gusa kwebwe tukaba mikoro gusa akabare uvuga mana aho kabare uvuga mana ngaho uvuga mana ngaho uvuga mana natukabana bawe tugiye kukomba natukabana bawe tugiye kukomba natwa bana bawe tugiye kokona kandi mana ishobora byose ijambo ryawe tugiye kumva riduhindure papa riduhindure papa riduhindure papa riduhindure riduhindure ritugira bushaka mana ritugira bushaka mana kamere ya chipe kamere ya chipe kamere ya chipe kamere ya bumana rizuka kamere ya bumana rigaragara mana oh kugira ngo ubwiza 
kawe mana oh abari ukaragara mana abari ukaragara papa kora kwinginze mana kora komitima yabana bawe kora komitima yabana bawe ijambo ryawe ribabwirize ijambo ryawe ribabwirize kandi riduhindure mana riduhindure 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 to Hallelujah. Our God is good. For our God is good. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Uh, Thank you, as if you may be seated, I will need you again. May the Lord bless you. I welcome all of you who are here. And all of you who are following from your homes, be the members of, our, of the church, or the other ones who like to follow us, all of you, we welcome you. Whether you are here physically, whether you are home following home, wherever you are, our God is the God who is omnipresent. May he give us all his blessings. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. May our Lord be blessed. Our brethren, we're starting our service of today. So we're going to go through the, the announcements because today we have a long program. We have Holy Communion today. And we are going to preach the word of God. Amen. Amen. Uh, may our Lord enable us to do that. May our Lord be with us. May he use us. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. 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 Uh, the, the announcements that we have are four announcements. The first one. It tells us that we will continue to hold our Sunday uh, services online. Via, Facebook, YouTube. via Facebook and YouTube. Uh, and that is Sunday from 10 a.m. to 12.30 p.m. And we are required to continue uh, respecting uh, the restrictions uh, of our province uh, to protect us and protect the others uh, against COVID-19. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The second announcement. Uh, uh, the second announcement is that uh, our brother Espoir Inyindi and Eme Muziranenge have their wedding on, on, uh, on the 13th of February 2021. The, thir the 13th of February that we are starting tomorrow, the month of February that uh, we are starting tomorrow. So uh, all of us, uh, we are re uh, asked to, uh, to remember them in our prayers. And support them um, financially and uh, in any other thing that they need. We need to remember that we are in times of COVID. That means that the, 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 the guests are very few. Uh, especially those in the family. 
ariko twebwe cyo dusabwa no kubashyigikira mu masengesho no mu bifatika ushobora kuba ngo kubashyigikira uba mu nkunga y'amafaranga uh, as, uh, as Zion Temple of Edmonton, what we are asked to do is to, to support them in any way that we can, uh, but we are not invited. Uh, so, Espoir's email address that we can use to support him financially, uh, the technical team will, uh, they will project it if they have it. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Benedata Espoir ni umwana wacu. Ah brethren Espoir is our our brother, our eh, child. Ni umwana wacu, ni nshuti yacu, ni umuvandimwe wabamwe. He's a brethren to Sam. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Tumufashe rero muri ubu bukwe agiye gukora. So let us support him in his in in his wedding. Nkuko dusanzwe tubikora. Just like we we usually do. Amen. Amen. Uh, itangazo rya gatatu turabibutsa twibature ya buri munsi kuva uh, so kuva kwa mbere kugeza ku wa gatano Our third announcement uh, we are reminding you that we have morning prayers uh, Monday to Friday Itangira sa sa ta, sa, sa kuminimwe ikarangiza sa 12 za mu gitondo Those morning prayers start at 5 a.m. and they end at 6 a.m. in the morning Uko bigaragara sa 12 haba hakiri kare cyane 5 o'clock is, is still early Abenshi baba baryamye batinze Most of us go to bed late Abenshi baba bagifite ibitotsi Most of us are still sleepy Abenshi mu burira haba hagishushye most of us, uh, the bed is still is still comfortable. And it's it's really hard to get up at that Ariko, time. But this year, this year of 2021 is a year of commitment. Kuyemeza, so to commit is not to do what is easier for us. Kuyemeza, no gukora nibindi, bigoye, bitugoye. Ariko, tukiyemeza, tukabikora. To commit is to go above and beyond and do those things that are normally hard for you to do. Even waking up at 5 o'clock in the morning, Hallelujah. Is it is a commitment. Praise God indeed. Let us commit to this. Our, our apostle took a much time to talk about that. When we started this year, asking all the churches to open prayer prayer altars, to start prayers, to start altars in their homes, Hallelujah. in themselves. Hallelujah. And that's when the the the. the the prayer altar uh, that is led by a, a Pastor Eric Ruhagarabahunga started. Authentic, authentic uh, watchman, watchman on the wall. Authentic, authentic, okay. um, authentic, authentic watch, watchman, watchman on the wall. Yes. Authentic watchman on the wall. Amen. Amen. We pray every day. Just one hour. And every Friday, we have overnight prayers. As we can, let us uh, participate. There is anyone, there is no one who is excluded. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Uh, ikora ku murongo gatanu ka, gatanu muri gatanu munani karindwi kane zero gatanu rimwe kabiri gatanu kabiri so for Unu our morning prayers we uh, use uh, the, the, the phone number that is projected on the screen you can see it 5874051252 access code ni kabiri zero gatanu rimwe kabiri gatandatu kabiri urwego and the access code is 2051262 pound. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Tangazo rya kane ariyo rya nyuma. 
amaturo n'ibya 10 birakomeza gutangwa dukoresheje e transfer and our fourth announcement last but not least uh, we are reminded that we are continuing to give our tithe pay our tithe and our offerings via online uh, banking uh, through Zion Temple 2020 at gmail.com. Kuri Zion Temple 2020 at gmail.com. Amen. Amen. Uwerero tu reka mujihe mo mutura, muna kakanya dutura, reka nsabe pastor Jamviera sengira maturo, hanyuma dukomeze mwini gahonda. Amen. Reka du sengira maturo, mana ya chumana ya kuizerwa, Turagushimye muri iki gitondo kiza uduhaye turagushimye kuri imana yacu turagushimye kwa ari wowe uturinda ku munsi ku munsi tubona uburinzi bwawe nyagora ku ngoma ni wowe udushoboza gukora imirimo ituma tubaho ni wowe udushoboza uwiteka mani ikomeye kubyuka tukajya mu kazi akazi dukora niwe wakaduhaye uwiteka mani ikomeye muri iki gitondo tuje kuguturira amaturo amaturo yishimwe amaturo nyagora ku ngoma yuko turi amahoro kwishyura ibyacu ibyacu da kuinginze ngo mwizina rya Yesu Kristo buri muntu wese uwiteka mani ikomeye uramburu kuboko kwe akagira icyo gutangira umuhumugisha nyagora ku ngoma umuhumugisha kandi umuhe gutanga nezerewe bivuye mu mutima we nyagora ku ngoma tabihatiwe uwiteka mani ikomeye abadafita kazi uwiteka mani ikomeye batabasha gutanga kwera ko badafite ibyo batanga kuko nta kazi ndakwinginze ngo fungura imiryango nyagora ku ngoma utanga kazi mwami wabami kukuri imana ibishoboye uwiteka mani ikomeye abataba sha gutanga kuko batarabyumva ndakwinginze uwiteka mani gira neza ngo woroshye imitima yabo mwami ubashire mu imitima y'inyamu bakure mu imitima y'amabuye nyagora ku ngoma yinangiye mwami wanjye ubibutse ko gutanga bihesha umugisha kurusha guhabwa uwiteka muko na wadukunze cyane nyagora ku ngoma ukaduha umwana wa Yesu Kristo kugira ngo adupire natwe ture kuri byacu dutange nyagora ku ngoma uwiteka mani ikomeye amaturo ni byacu mibigiye gutangwa mu nzu yawe reka bizakora muri wawe reka bizaguru ubwami bwawe reka nibiba bikenya gora ku ngo mu bitubure uwiteka mani ikomeye amafacture yose tugomba kwishyura nakagire nimwe nyagora ku ngo mena ndiko kwishyurwa kukuri imana ubutunzi bwose nubwawe ifeza ni zahabu ni byawe uwiteka uduha umugisha tugirire neza kukuri imana nziza urakoze nyagora ku ngo ma n'imwizina rya Yesu Kristo dusenze byose kandi twizeye amen 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 Hallelujah. Let us Hallelujah. give to the Lord joyfully with a grateful heart. Hallelujah. Uh, Hallelujah. Ivan, God bless you. I, I'm, I, I was very happy when I saw you behind the drums. All the youth who are here. Zion itangira. When Zion started in Edmonton. Ivan niyo watangiye kuri piano. Ivan was the one who started playing the piano. Murumuna we Marvin ari ku ngoma. And his younger brother Marvin was on the drums. Mushiki we Raisa na wari kuri piano. And his sister Raisa was on the piano too. None nyuma y'imyaka 14 and 14 years later, he is still doing it, brethren. Let us clap for our Lord and give him a round of applause. Hallelujah. Amen, amen, amen. Hallelujah. May our Lord be blessed and be given all the honor. Um, all of us who are here and those who are following us online, we are going to uh, go uh, through a, a, a special work here, which is the Holy Communion. Uh, this Holy Communion, we are going to lead it, to lead it in four steps. We are first and foremost going to read the Word of God uh, to explain what is what is the Holy Communion mean? What does the Holy Communion mean? Umga kabiri turasoma ijambo ditwere kuburyo Yesu na vigishkwabe na ninhumaze bitegui 
Second, we are going to read a word of God that tells us how Jesus and his disciples prepared themselves to receive or to share the Last Supper. And third, we are going to read the word of God telling us how what, what, is, what is required for us to, to partake on the Holy Communion. And fourth, we are going to see, to read the word of God telling us how Jesus served the Last Supper to his, disciple, uh, to his disciples as we as well partake. Uh, so we, for the meaning of the Holy Communion, we are going to read in the book of John chapter 6, and we are going to start from verse 53. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Johanna Gatandatu. We are going to read the word of God from John chapter 6. John chapter 6, I'm going Hallelujah. I'm going to use the NIV. We're going to start from verse 53. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Uh, yesu arababgirati, nukuri nukuri, ndababgira yuko, ni mutarja umubiri, umunga na umunu, ni mungwe na marasoye, na ujingo muamu fite murimwe. Mirongu tano nakane. 53, uh, as I read 53, I'm reading from NIV version. Jesus said to them, very Truly, I tell you, unless you eat the flesh of the Son of Man and drink his blood, you have no life in you. Amen. Amen. Uriya umubiri wange, akangwa maraso yange, abafite ubugingo buhoraho, nange nzamuzura kumusi wimperuka. Whoever eats my flesh and drinks my blood has eternal life and I will raise them up at the last day. Kuko umubiru wange ari ibyo kurya byukuri na maraso yange ni ibyo kunwa byukuri. For my flesh is real food and my blood is real drink. Urya umubiru wange akonga maraso yange aguma muri nge nange nkaguma muri we. Whoever eats my flesh and drinks my blood remains in me and I in them. Just as the living father sent me and I live because of the father, so the one who feeds on me will live because of me. This is the bread that came down from heaven. Your ancestors ate manna and died, but whoever feeds on this bread will live forever. He said this while teaching in a synagogue in Capernaum. Nuko benshi mubigishwa be babyumvise baravuga bati iryo jambo rirakomeye ushobora 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 kuryihanganira ushobora ushobora kuryihanganira ninde Verse 60 says on hearing it many of his disciples said this is a hard teaching who can accept it Hallelujah. Ahangaha, yes, yabivugaga. Yarataragize igihe cyo gupfa. So when Jesus spoke this word, he was prior to his death. Ariko na nabigishwa be babandi ibihumbi bitanu yagaburiye umutsima na mafi. But he was talking to the to his the, to the people that he fed uh, when he fed five thousand people with with just a little bit of bread and fish. Uh, 
barakomeza baramushakisha bamusanga ikapere na umu ari mu synagogue so they came back to look for him probably look for him to feed them again but then the place where he fed them from he wasn't there he had moved to capernaum and so they continued their search until they found him in capernaum yesu amenye kibazanye and so Jesus knew why they were searching for him. That it wasn't to hear his word. That it was because they needed bread. And this is when he told them this word. Uh, explain, explaining to them that the real bread is his explaining to them that the real bread is his body and the real drink is his blood and they did not understand but he was talking about his death meaning that his body will be torn and his blood will be shed Amen. Amen. This is the meaning of the Holy Communion now. Amen. Amen. Yes, Praise Jesus indeed. And so without further ado, we're going to, to see when Jesus and his disciples shared the meal of the Passover. And that is in Matthew 26. Matthew 26 from verse 17. Matthew 26 from verse 17. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yes, Ashimwe. Praise Jesus. Makunyabi Makunya Nagatanda to Trimina Karinwe. Go Yesu Nabi Jishkwabe Basangira Ibya Pasika. The Last Supper. Why is it? Yes. Trimina Karinwe, Mokumusu Ambere, Wokurimitsima, Ida Sembuwe. Abijishwa Bejira Yesu Baramuba Zabati. Ura Shaka Ko Dutunga Nirizahe Aho Uri Burire Ibya Pasika. Verse 17, uh, on the first day of the festival of unleavened bread, the disciples came to Jesus and asked, where do you want us to make preparations for you to eat the Passover? Verse 18 reads, he replied, go into the city to a certain man and tell him, the teacher says, my appointment, my, my appointed time is near. I am going to celebrate the Passover with my disciples at your house. So the disciples did as Jesus had directed them and prepared the Passover. When evening came, Jesus was reclining at the table with the twelve. And while they were eating, he said, Truly, I tell you, one of you will betray me. They were very sad and began to say to him, one after the other, surely you, you don't mean me, Lord. Jesus replied, the one who has dipped his hand into the ball with me will betray me. The, the Son of Man will go just as it is written about him, but woe to that man who betrays the Son of Man. It will be better for him if he had not been born. Yuda, woe, warugiye kumugambanira. 
aramubaza ati mwigisha ninge nige aramusubiza ati wakabimenye then judas the one who would betray him said surely you don't mean me rabbi Jesus answered, you have said so. Hallelujah. 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 So here we see that Jesus is preparing his disciples. He invited them to share this meal. So that he may talk to them about his death. So that he may tell them that he is about to, to, to die. And that there is one of them who has betrayed him, who will betray him. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yes, I shall make you a new way. You have a table and a Amen. Amen. And you may to live in a hole. Yes, a tangy from Rodier. And so let's see when Jesus uh, served the Holy Communion. A tangy from Rodier, a Travisanga Passover. Travisanga Muricho, you check your Matayama Kuni and Agatanda too. It is still in this in this same chapter of Matthew 26. Umurongo Makumia in Agatanda. And that is verse 26. Amen. Hallelujah. For a hurry? Yes, hallelujah. Hallelujah. Go back here. Yes, we end the Mutsima Araushimira, Arauma Nyagura. Auha abigish kwawe, Arabab Girati, Nimwende Murje, Uyunu Mutsima Wanj. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So while they were eating, Jesus took bread, and when he had given thanks, he broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take and eat, this is my body. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yenda Ijikombe Arajishimira Arachiba Harabab Girati. Then he took a cup, and when he had given thanks, he gave it to them, saying, Drink from, from it, all of you. This is my blood of the covenant, which is poured out for many for the forgiveness of sins. I tell you, I will not drink from this fruit of the vine from now on until, until that day when I, drink, when, I, when I drink it new with you in my Father's kingdom. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And so as two are going to share the blood of Jesus, the, uh, the body of Jesus and the blood of Jesus. COVID, but because of COVID-19, we're not going to do it as we normally do. Here I have, I have, I um, have, Grape juice. And, and I have uh, the body of Christ, the bread. It is packaged together. And so you're going to, 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 to help yourself. Uh, this package has uh, grape juice and it has uh, the bread. So they're all together. Na juice. And those who are at home, uh, please have bread ready and juice ready. So that we uh, may all Christo. share uh, this holy communion together. Hallelujah. 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 But before we partake, brethren, I would like to remind you what we need to take care of. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Muba Corinho Bambere, Igitecha Triminarime, Makunya Vinagatanda to Kujira Kumirongitat. So as we go in the book of the First Corinthians, chapter 11, uh, from verse. 20 26 Then 
at verse 26 reads, For whenever you eat this bread and drink this cup, you proclaim the Lord's death until he comes. Nicyo gituma umuntu wese uzarya umutsima w'umwami wacu cyangwa uzanywera ku gikombe ke uko bidakwiriye azagibgaho nurubanza rwo gucumura ku mubiri na maraso by'umwami. So then whoever eats the bread or drinks the cup of the Lord in an unworthy manner will be guilty of sinning against the body and blood of the Lord. Nuko umuntu yinire yisuzume abone kurya kuri uwo mutsima no kunywera kuri icyo gikombe. Verse 28 Everyone ought to examine themselves before they eat of the bread and drink from the cup. Ngo kuko upfa kurya akanwa atitaye ku mubiri w'umwami aba aririye kandi abanywereye kwishyiraho gucirwaho iteka verse 29 for those who eat and drink without discerning the body of Christ eat and drink judgment on themselves ndetse nicyo gituma benshi muri mwe bagira intege nke abandi bakarwaragura abandi benshi Verse 30, that is why many among you are weak and sick, and a number of you have fallen asleep. Yes, Praise Jesus in there. So here are the consequences of uh, eating on the body, the body of Jesus Christ and drinking on his blood without discerning them. So I ask all of us, brethren, to examine ourselves because the one who eats because the one who eats because the one who, who partake on the body of Jesus Christ and, and, and his blood is the one who has accepted Jesus Christ as the Lord and Savior and who has been baptized. If you haven't been baptized, brethren, uh, re, uh, refrain from, uh, from partaking. And also, you who think that you fulfill all the requirements, please examine yourself. Hallelujah. Please examine your heart before you can approach Hallelujah. the Lord's Supper. I am going to ask Pastor Emmanuel to pray for the body. Of Christ. And I am going to pray for the blood of Jesus. Hallelujah. 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 Amen.
Hallelujah. Brethren, I ask you to please bear with us. We might not uh, respect the time. Please bear with us. It's because we, the program has been long. Hallelujah. Because we combined the Holy Communion. And the Lord. But all work together for our good. May our God be praised. Hallelujah. 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 Our God is good. Our God is great. Our God be honored. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let us go into the word of God now. I would like to ask Azaf to please uh, uh, pick up your mics if you still have them. Uh, we are going to sing again that song that you sang earlier um, that says uh, um, be praised Jesus our Redeemer as far as here Amen. hallelujah we welcome you brother Espoir hallelujah hallelujah let us sing this song as we that will usher us into the word of God. Hallelujah. 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 Shima Oh, 
The teachings of uh, my last sermon 
said uh, God before everything else we read in the book of Luke chapter 18 verse 29 to 30 Jesus said unto them verily verily I say unto you that the Yes, so last time we read the, uh, the word of God in the book of Luke chapter 18 and we started from verse 29 where Abai told us, Truly I tell you, Jesus said to them, No one who has left home or wife or brothers or sisters or parents or children for the sake of the kingdom of God will fail to receive many times as much in their age and in the age to come eternal life. Amen. I so we ended by saying that serving God, there is no loss in serving God. There is always benefits in serving God. So that's why I'm asking you this morning. If you are in God, if you have been saved, if you are standing really in God, May you rejoice. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Ni wo mutwe w'uyu munsi tuvuga ngo shi ngo shima shima wongera ushima imana mutima wanje. That's the title of my sermon today. It is uh, be thankful, be thankful and be thankful again my heart. Ngo shima shima wongera ushime imana mutima wanje. Be thankful and be thankful and be thankful again my heart. You who are listening to me as a, as a Rwandan person, a Rwandan person, saying that those things that he is saying, uh, considering the times that we're in, people are sick, people lost their jobs, economies have fallen, things are very bad. How can you say to, to be thankful? That, that is what it means to tickle yourself and then you laugh. And one, this person who would hear Hallelujah. me at this point, maybe this is what they would say. A Congolese person who would listen to me at this point, may say that. He, may, he may say, ask, Ask if I am if I'm, I am at my right mind. And if a Swahili person would to, to hear me now, he would say that. And because the things of God are before the worldly people are like foolishness. But God is telling us this morning to be thankful. And I too am My heart, thank God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We saw that God should come before everything else. Our God is able. Our God is great. He has everything that we need. Our God heals him. And above even healing, he raises the dead. And he also creates. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Even though it looks bad. Even though it's dark. Even though economy has fallen, even though jobs are, are, are going are missing, even though this pandemic is all over the world, but this morning I'm telling you to thank God, thank God, because I too am thanking God. There are so many reasons that will cause us to thank God. There are so many reasons that will cause us to thank God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh. Hallelujah. The first reason why that we should thank God, the first reason that we should 
thank God is because God created us in his own image. God created you and I in his own image. Other creatures that, that he created before he created a human being. He did not give them his image. But you and I, when he created us, he gave us his image. Hallelujah. Won't you thank God for that? For you looking like God. For you having the same image as God. Do you understand that? Do you see how much value that God has given you? That's why we should thank God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We're going to read in the book of Genesis. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We are going to read in the book of Genesis chapter 27 and we're going to start from oh, verse 1. Uh, Hallelujah. Genesis chapter 1 verse 27. So in the book of Genesis chapter 1 verse 27 reads, So God created mankind in his own image. In the image of God, he created them. Male and female, he created them. Amen. The value that he's given him, the value that he's given me, that honor that he has given me, that honor that he's given, that that he's given you, brethren, creating you after thinking about it, creating you when he had a plan for you, and then creating you and giving you his own image, let us remember that he is a God who is above every other thing. Know that he is a God who is superior to everything. A God who knows everything. So for he to create you like him, for, Hallelujah. for him to create you in his own image, it is, it is an amazing value that you have. That's why we should thank him. I am thankful because I am created in the image of God. And you too, please rejoice because you are created in the Hallelujah. image of God. Hallelujah. Above that, above that, of being created in his own image, he gave us his salvation. But that, we're going to touch base on that. Then. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. After creating us then, he just didn't... Uh, Put us there. He did not create a human being and be like, okay, you go, you go find your way. He didn't say that even though I'm created, I created you in my image, image. Because of the, the honor that I have given him. That he may go and use that honor that I gave him. And survive. No, that's not how he did it. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Another reason why we should thank God, and that's what we're going to he see here. After creating a human being, he put, he put that human being in a very nice place, in a very amazing place. A, a, a place that I would call a paradise. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh. And so God, we are going to read in the book of Genesis again. So we're going to read in the book of Genesis chapter 2. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Haravugango, Murongo Karin, go we take a mana, Iremumun, Mumukungu, Wohasi, Imuho maker of Mazuru, Umuka, Ubujingo, Umuna, Ahinduka, Ubujingo Vuzima. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Then the Lord God formed a man from the dust of the ground and breathed into his nostrils the breath of life, and the man became a living being. Hallelujah. Umurongo Munani. Uwiteka imana ikeba ingobyi muri Edeni mu ruhande rw'uburasirazuba ishyiramo umuntu yaremye 
Now the Lord God had planted a garden in the east in Eden and there he put the man he had formed. Umurongo wa 9 ngo uwiteke imana imezamo igiti cyose kigikundiro cyera imbuto ziribwa imeza n'igiti cy'ubugingo hagati muri iyo ngobyi imezamo n'igiti cy'ubwenge bumenyesha ikibinikeza verse 9 the lord god made all kinds of trees grow out of the ground trees that were pleasing to the eye and good for food in the middle of the garden were the tree of life and the tree of the knowledge of good and evil hallelujah murongo wa 10 ngo umugezi uturuka muri edeni unetesha iyo ngobyi uwo mugezi uvamo uvamo wigabanyamo ine a river watering the garden flowed from Eden from there it was separated into four headwaters deka ushushanye iyo Eden uburyo yari meze i just picture picture that garden of Eden how it looked uwumve mu mutwe wawe uburyo iyo ngo byari meze picture that garden in your mind imaze kurema iyo iyo ngo byi aho ngaho muri Eden after he planted that garden in Eden ngo ishira mu mugezi wigabanyijemo kane he put a river that had that had four branches ngo umugezi unetesha utuma hamera neza the river that was watering that garden umugezi utuma haba mahuingeze that would give a uh, life to that garden muzarebe imiji yose look at all the cities imiji yose ifite imigezi inyura mu mugi all the cities that have rivers flowing through the, the city uburyo iyo migezi irimbisha iyo migi how those rivers make those cities beautiful nuko baba batuye kunyanja even though they lived by the sea ariko hari migezi inyura mu mugi hagati but there are rivers that go through the cities uwo mugezi utuma aba mahungezi mu mugi those kind of rivers make the make the those cities have a fresh air utuma haberamo ubukera rugendo make those those cities have tourism imwe bayikoreramo amasporo coming to to visit them hallelujah and many people will go around along those rivers exercising imiji nyinshi nzi ifite imigezi inyura mu mugi hagati many many cities that i know that that i have I've seen that I have rivers going through them. You see beauty in them. I will give you an example. Ipari. Uh, for example, Paris. Ipari ba fitu mujezi tuka la Seine. They uh, in Paris they have a river called La Seine that goes through Paris. La Seine inyola mumuji wa Paris. That river goes through the city of Paris. Ariku yuhaje zani joro. But when you get there, amatara ya kamuru wa mujezi. When uh, 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 light reflects. Harimo na amato, harimo usanga hameze nezape. So when you go, you, when you look at it, when the lights reflect through that river and you see boats in that river, it looks really pretty. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Hano muri Canada natwe. And here in Canada. Muri Ottawa. In Ottawa. Hari umugezi witwa Rido. There is there is a river called Rido. Uwo mugezi witwa Rido. This river called Rido. Niwe niwo utanga ubwiza mu mugi wa Ottawa. That's the, the it's the one that gives the beauty of Ottawa. Habera mu bintu byinshi. There are other there are other things there. Yo yo habaye hiver. Ah so in in the winter time. Niho bakorera that's where people go skiing. Niho bakorera ski. Hallelujah. Ugasanga abantu bose bavuye isi yose bari gukora ski muri Ottawa. And you find people from all over the world coming to Ottawa Amen. to ski. Iji hari izuba. And when, when when it's sunny. Haba hari mwamato. And you see uh, small boats. Ugasanga hasa neza pe. And it, it really beautiful. It is really beautiful. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Natwe dufite umugezi hanga. And so uh, we were talking about this river that goes through this garden. Saskatchewan River. Oh, sorry. So the Saskatchewan River. Saskatchewan River hano Edmonton. Uh, Saskatchewan River here in Edmonton. Ariko nge mbona utabata ukoresha ku buryo utanga umusaruro bikwiriye. But I don't think they exploit it to uh, the point Amen. that it will give 
beauty to, to this city. So if they would, uh, if they were decorated just like the those other rivers that I have told you, the beauty of Edmonton will increase. Amen. Hallelujah. You and I who are listening to me, if they elect you to become the mayor of this uh, city, put put some effort into uh, exploiting that river. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Uh, so the verse 11. So the name of the first, oh, sorry, so uh, verse 10. The name of the first, oh, sorry, so uh, verse 10. Uh, verse 11 says that the name of the first is the Pishon. It winds through, it winds through the entire land of Havila, where there is gold. Hallelujah. On the, on the top of uh, making the, the, those rivers go, th go through that garden, there is also gold. And somewhere in the word of God, it says that this, this gold is the best gold ever. Amen. Amen. Uh, uh, Amen. Uh, verse 12, it says that the gold of that land is good. good. Uh, aromatic resin and on onyx are also there. Amen. Amen. Chuminagatatu Ngundi witwa Gihoni Ariwo Ugose Yuguchose Kikush. Verse thirteen says the name of the second river is the, the Gaihon. It winds through the entire land of Kush. Undi witwa Hide Hide Kelu Niwo Ucha Imbere Ijukitwa Ashuri Wakani Witwa Ufrat. the name of the third river is the Tigris. It runs along the east side of Asher, and the fourth river is the Euphrates. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Mumba Benedata Imaza Kuremumun Mwishusho Gimana. So you understand, brethren, after creating a man, a human being in his image, he did not leave them, he did not leave that man there. Uh, animals, after he created them, he just put them there and then they, they found their their way. Way. After creating the trees and the, and the, and the seas and the, and the rivers, he just let them there. But after creating a human being as a bonus in his image, he also placed him in a very beautiful area. He, 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 he made it beautiful by rivers. And, and he gave him riches, gold and precious stones. Hallelujah. 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 Brethren. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Brethren, when uh, God created a man, he created him so that he, he so that he could be well, well in his body and wealthy. And, and the wealth that I'm talking about was the wealth that was not supposed to take that human being away from God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. But brethren, favor, that, that favor and that, and, and that favor, uh, Satan was not happy about it. Satan was not happy about all those things that God gave to God. So Satan tried all he could. He did all he could so that he could take away the, 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 the joy that God has placed in, in the heart of a, of a human. 
Satan ni yitima tutishima ni yituma tudashima imana iduteza ibyago igaduteza urupfu ikaduteza indwara kugira ngo ntitwishime kwera ngo ntidushima imana ahubwo ngo dutuke imana Satan is the one who causes us not to thank God not to to rejoice in what God has done by causing us sickness by causing us uh, poverty and other calamities he does that so that we may curse God instead of thanking him Satan ni wazanya urupfu. Satan is the one who brought death. Muzi ku rupfu nicyo kintu cy'ambere kibabaza umuntu. You know death is the first and foremost thing that sadden a human being. Ushobora kwishima. You may be happy. Ugahimbaza ukamanura kamaboko. And praise God and raise your hands. Ariko watekereza ko one day uzapfa. But when then you remember that one day you're going to die. Ya maboko kamanuka. Then those hands that were raised they come down. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Watekereza ko hari umuntu wa hafi wanyu urwayo ugiye gupfa bigatuma udahimbaza. And when you think that there is a relative, a close relative that who is very sick and who is dying and that causes you know to worship God. Ibyo ni ibintu Satani yateye mu bantu. Those are the things that Satan has brought into. Ariko gahunda ya Satani kwa ari kugira ngo igabanye ko ikure umunezero mu muntu. But the, the plans of Satan were to take away the joy from the hearts of men. Wa mugambi w'Imana kuyareme umuntu kugira ngo ayihimbaze. The plan of God of creating a human being so that he may praise him. Upube, upube. so that it may that plan may fail hallelujah hallelujah niyo mpamvu tubona ibi byose that's why mpamvu tubona ibi byago niyo mpamvu tubona ibi byorezo that's why we 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 encounter all these problems that's why we see all these pandemics ni gahunda ya satani this is the plan of the devil amen amen ariko nubwo yazanye urwo rupfu but even though satan brought the death nubwo yazanye urwo rupfu urusha ibindi byose ku Even though Satan brought death that is that, that saddens us more than anything else. There is one who conquered death. There is one who overcame death. There is one who conquered death. Amen. Amen. And those who have received Jesus Christ. Those who have accepted him. As their Lord and Savior. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Even though we don't get used to death. Even though we don't get used to death. But the death of a righteous man is different from a, a, the death of a, of a sinner. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We know that when we die, we are not we are not dead completely. We are not gone for good. We are asleep. And one day we will wake up and have eternal life. That's why the more the people are the morning of the righteous people is different from the morning of sinners. So before I got saved, any time I attended the morning of, uh, of, of saved people, the first morning that I attended was the, the morning that uh, Apostle Masas, Masasu had back then when he lost his parents when they got killed. So I, I attended that morning. And, and when I got there, they were dancing, they were worshiping God. But I was used to the morning whereby you go and everyone is crying and everyone is quiet and silent. But when I went there, I, I found them dancing and praising God and, and, and singing. And I was like, I questioned it. I, and I, was, I started questioning, did they really lose their parents? Did they really love their parents? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I wasn't saved yet back then. I didn't know back then that dying of a righteous man, a righteous Hallelujah. person is gain. 
Death has no more power. That's why we should thank God. That's the third reason why we're going to see. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. When Jesus accepted, like willingly dying for us. Uh, 1 Corinthians chapter 15. And we're going to read from 3 to 4. Now we're going to read from 3 to 4. For what I received, I passed on to you as of first importance that Christ died for our sins according to the scriptures, that he was buried, that he was raised on the third day according to the scriptures. Verse 4. Verse 4, I just read it, that he was buried, that he was raised on the third day according to the scriptures. Hallelujah. Amen. When did that take it? Brethren, think about it. You have sinned. You've done so many wrongs. You've done so many forbidden things. You, you, you deserve to die. If the penalty of death still existed now, nowadays many Aruko countries have vuba, abolished that kind vuba, of mbere, uru, inhuza, uh, churupu, uh, Before the consequences or the punishment of death was accepted. Aruko, nubungu although, wa, nubungu wa but uh, even until now, there are some countries who still uh, uh, accept that, allow that. Even in the U.S. There are states who still have the penalty of death. So think about it. You have been sentenced to death. That is the, the, the penalty. That's the sentence that we all deserved because of our sins. Because of our sins. And then someone shows up. And he says, no, do not kill them. Remove that penalty of death from them. Put it on me. I accept to die in their place. How would you thank that kind of person? How would you think about that kind of person? Jesus accepted to die for us. Jesus accepted to go on the cross on our behalf. And that's why he came. When he came from heaven, when he left all the glory and the honor that he had in heaven, coming to the earth, that was his first and foremost mission. His, his mission was to come and die for us. As who have been sentenced to death. As who have been sentenced to death. Amen. But uh, Jesus left, gave up all the honor that he had. Given. And he descended on, on the earth. And he came to you and I. All those people, you and I, those people that he had put in his own Eden, that he had put in Eden that was perfect. But that person had separated himself from God that was sentenced to death that was deserving to death that was deserving to die because of what he has done. Amen. Amen. Jesus came. He came and he, he put in himself all of our all our sins. Sins. And he took all those sins and he went on the cross and he got hang on the cross. And from there, we, we, our, our fellowship with God was restored. We became children of God again. 
And so uh, do we do we sometimes think about those people who haven't yet received Jesus Christ as their Lord and Savior? The life that they live in. Tuzaja tuza duhimba ze dusimbuke tumanike amaboko tubye ngo Yesu waradupfiriye. Haima hari bene wacu hari bene abavandimwe hari inshuti zitarakizwa zitegereje urupfu. And so when we think about that and think about yourself when you come to church and you raise your hands and you praise God for dying for you, do you remember those people who are still outside of salvation, who are awaiting death? It should be a burden on us. We should, we should make it a burden for a brethren. We should have that as a burden, brethren. A burden of our brethren who are outside there, our relatives who haven't yet received Jesus Christ as our Lord and Savior, who are awaiting death. We should go and, and find them and tell them the beauty of having Jesus in our lives, the, 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 the joy that we have in the Lord. That is our mission. That is our mission, brethren. We shouldn't grow weary. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I know that I didn't come to Canada to eat and sleep and, and, and rejoice. I know that I came to Canada to serve God. And just like Joshua said, myself and my family, we will serve the Lord. Myself and my family, we will serve the Lord. May God hear it. May God hear it. And may he enable us to Hallelujah. that. Hallelujah. May our God be honored. Hallelujah. Ah, yes. Satan rero aduteza umubabaro kugira ngo ntidushime imana ahubwo tuyituke imirimo ya satani nukwiba nukwica nukurimbura. So Amen. Satan causes us pain. He causes us suffering so that we may not serve God, so that we may not thank God. And as we know, the works of Satan is to kill, is to steal, and it is to destroy. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let's read in the book of John chapter 10. Uh, let's read in the book of uh, John chapter uh, John chapter 10 Ningerembo umuntu niyinjira muri nge azakizwa azinjira asohoke kandi azabona urwuri Hallelujah chapter 10 verse 9 it reads I am the gate whoever enters through me will be saved they will come in and go out and find pasture the gate is Jesus. All of us, if we don't go, if any of us doesn't go through that gate, will not be saved. And will not find pasture. Amen. Amen. Do you see how much loss that the unsaved people have? And verse 10 reads, The thief comes only to steal and kill and destroy. I have come that they may have life and have it to the full. Hallelujah. And so, 
nika zita tanya. Hallelujah. And verse 11 it reads, I am the good shepherd. The good shepherd lays down his life for the sheep. 12. The hired, the hired hand is not the shepherd and does not own the sheep. So when he sees the wolf coming, he abandons the sheep and runs away. Then the wolf attacks the flock and scatters it. Amen. So when that arrow, ha, yindi nzira, ha, yandi mahitamo, kujira ngo jiru bujingo, kujira ngo shobere kubaho, kujira ngo ushobere kuishima. So, brethren, there is no any other way for you to rejoice, for you to find pasture. There is no any other way than Jesus Christ. That gate is Jesus Christ. Yes, He is. Jesus is the gate. Amen. Amen. Ninawe utuweshejeho nusa dusohoza amahoro mijur. And he is the one who makes us live, and he is the one who is going to lead us until heaven peacefully. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And, and so, brethren, what that we need to do, brethren, so that we may be full of thanksgiving no matter what is happening on, in, and around us. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Haba bwije haba bukeye haba hijimye dukwiye kugira umunezero dushima imana muri byose ibihe byose whether is night whether is daytime whether is dark or shine uh, we need to have the joy of the lord in us all the time no muri iki gihe cya corona dukwiye gushima imana corona virus dukwiye gushima imana we need to think to thank god hallelujah wowe natangiye mbwira ngo ngo we you that I, I started by telling you, uh, telling you that maybe you're looking at me and you're like, oh, he's tickling himself and, and laughing. I'm telling you that in Jesus there is no sorrow. In Jesus there are, there, is, there are thanksgivings. And Jesus is hallelujah. Yes, hallelujah. Let's read in the book of Philippians 4. If you must shake up your say, be Menguini mana, movie Savie, move Jinjinje, Mushima. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. In the book of the Philippians, chapter four, uh, from verse six, it says, Do not be anxious about anything, but in every situation, by prayer and petition, with thanksgiving, present your request to God. As, as we thank God, brethren, that's what the God, word of God is saying. Umurongo wa munani, wakabuango, ibisi gaye bene data, ibyo kuri bios, ibyo kuba hua bios, ibyo guchira nuka bios, ibibo ne bios, ibyo jikundiro bios, nibishi mga bios, ni ni hava hari ingeso nziza. Kandi hakabaho ishimwe murabyumva hakabaho ishimwe abari byo mwibwira hallelujah amen verse 7 and 8 reads and the peace of god which transcends all understanding will guard your hearts and your minds in christ jesus verse 8 finally brothers and sisters whatever is true whatever is noble whatever is right whatever is pure whatever is lovely whatever is admirable if anything is excellent or or praiseworthy, think about such things. Hallelujah. Let us thank God and thank God and thank Him again. My heart, thank God. Uh, let's go fast. Uh, brethren, uh, suffering uh, will not end, will not lack in this life. In 2 Corinthians, in 2 Corinthians chapter haravuga ngo ariko dufite four ariko dufite ubwo butunzi mu nzabya zibumba 
Hallelujah. In, in, the, in the book of the Corinthians, the second book of the Corinthians, it says, um, chapter 4, verse 7 says, But we have this treasure in jars of clay to show that this is all surpassing power, that this all surpassing power is from God and not from us. <laughs> Ariko dufite ubwo butunzi mu nzabya zibumba kugira ngo imbaraga zisumba byose zibe izimana zidaturutse kuri twe murongo wa munane ngo dufite amakuba impande zose ariko ntidukuke imitima turashobewe ariko ntitwihebye amen amen we are hard pressed on every side, but not crushed. Perplexed, but not in despair. Hallelujah. Umurongo wa chenda. Ngo turarenga nwa, ariko hiduhanwa. Duku bitkwa hasi, ariko hidutsin kwa rgos. Hallelujah. Verse 9 says, we are persecuted, but not abandoned. Struck down, but not destroyed. Umurongo wa chumi, ngo tujenda na mumubiri iteka urupfu rwa yesu ngo ubugingo bwa Yesu nabwo bugaragarire mu mibiri yacu. Verse 10 says we always carry around in our body the death of Jesus so that the life of Jesus may also be revealed in our body. Tumi na rimwe ngo kuko twebwe abazima dutangwa iteka ngo dupfe duhora baduhora Yesu nabwo bagaragarire Nabgo bagaragarire mu mibiri yacu izapfa. Amen. Amen. Verse 11 reads, For we who are alive are always being given over to death for Jesus' sake, so that his life may also be revealed in our mortal body. So venedata ijambo ry'Imana liratuburira ko dufite ubwo butunzi, dufite ubutunzi, ubutunzi turabufite. Imana yarabuduhaye. Amen. Ngari ko ubwo butunzi tufite mu nzabya zibumba. So the word of God is reminding us that we have we have those riches from God but we have those riches in our bodies that are like jars of clay Problems will encounter them. Epidemics will encounter them. Hunger will encounter it. Persecution will, will encounter that. But as long as we have Jesus in us, as long as we have thanksgiving in us, thanking God in everything, all those things, God will see us through those things and we will walk over them. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Benedata. Brethren, the first thing is to have Jesus in us. That's the most important thing. And that Jesus that we have in us, let us give him all the rights to, to work in us. So that we don't so that we don't keep any any anything in, in anywhere in our in ourselves private let us give him our, our, minds, our wealth let us give him all that we have and us too let us give ourselves to him and, 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 and praise God after, after and after that, God will do his things. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. May our God be praised. Uh, Hallelujah. I will not end I will not end this sermon without uh, going through the Zion Temple Global uh, vision. Kwishimi na inayo bijanye niyo gahunda yo kwishima. Because 
ukwishima kuzuye haleluya haleluya just just like our apostle uh, had this vision for this year we need to commit to god we need to cling to him because it is in him that we have the, the, the fullness of joy and the fullness of thanksgiving muri akobo rimwe 18 hakatubwira ngo yatubyarishije jambo ry'ukuri nkuko yabigambiriye kugira ngo tube numu numuganura wibiremwa bye in james 1:18 it says it says that he chose to give us birth through the word of truth that we might be a kind of first fruits of all the created. Aima Zaburi 189 27 hakatubwira ngo aza azantakira ati ni wowe data imana yange igitare cyagakiza kanje. Hakumya bino munani hakavuga ngo ngo kandi nzamuhindura imfure yange asumbe abandi Vami bo mwisi haleluya haleluya and that's psalms 89 verse 27 27 and 28 reads and i will appoint him to be my firstborn um, the most exalted of the kings of the earth i will maintain my love to him forever Alleluia. and my covenant with him will never fail abaheberayo 12 akavuga ngo Mwana wakumya na gata tu, ngui toro ria ba na bi infura, ba ndiskwe mguju, ba ndiskwe mgujuru. Mweje, mwejele imana umucha manza wabose ni mnyuka ya wakira nuti batanga ba batunga njugu rgose. Hallelujah. And in the book of Hebrews, chapter twelve, verse uh, from verse twenty-three reads. To the church of the firstborn, whose names are written in heaven, you have come to God, the judge of all, to the spirits of the righteousness made perfect, to Jesus, the mediator of a new covenant, and to the sprinkled blood that speaks a better word than the blood of Abel. Yes, Ashimichane. Muno baku byo se bijyanye no gushima 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 haleluya muri iki cyumweru rero kuva kuri 25 kugera uyu munsi 31 ngo kubaka igicaniro cy'umuhamya n'ubusabane So uh, in the, the, this the, for the, from this week uh, from January 25th to January 31st it is this is the time to build the altar of commitment and of um uh, the, the, the the altar of 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 signs yeah. of signs and commitment yes. to god amen hallelujah hallelujah hanyuma yoshua akatubwira ngo nuko abarubeni nabagadi bahimba icyo gicaniro edi risobanura ngo numuhamya wo muri twe yuko witeka ariyo mana haleluya and in the book of joshua the book of joshua chapter 22 verse 34 it reads uh, 34 34 reads and the Rubenites and the Gadites gave the altar this name, a witness or a witness between us, between us that the Lord is God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Ahanga, Amarubeni, Navagad, Arijevichava, Ibatum Vikanag. So the Rubenites and, and the Gadites, at some point, they were in confrontation. They were not in good terms. Ariko, Ahanga, ha. Biyemeje biyemeje gukora igicaniro bise Edi ngo risebanura ngo umuhamya wo muri twe yuko witeka ariyo mana But here they they committed to to set a, a an altar uh, of the name of Eid, Edi a, which means a witness between us that the Lord is God Icyo gicaniro kirabahuza And this altar uh, joined them Abene data so brethren, those who have received Jesus Christ, Jesus. those who, knows, who know the Lord, those who are in the Lord, there is nothing that should separate us. Nothing should separate us. 
If if it happens, we should remove it right away. Amen. Amen. And let us bring the, the altar of fellowship between us. Let us thank God, brethren. I'm going to ask Azaf to please come back. To, to really be, go, bless the Lord, oh my soul. As we sing this song that Hallelujah. says, Bless the Lord, oh my soul. Hallelujah. 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 Command your heart to thank God. Remove the sorrow and anything else that is hindering you from praising and thanking God. As you sing this song, talk to your heart. Comment your heart. Thank you, God. Hallelujah. Like we started saying, commanding our hearts to be thankful and be thankful and be thankful again to Hallelujah. the Lord. Hallelujah. 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 And so as we, we, we dismiss the service, before we dismiss the service, we are going to pray for the firstborn. The firstborn children are the children who are attacked, attacked very much by the devil because the devil knows that they have a promise on their lives. They have, they, 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 God has a good plan on their lives. Hallelujah. 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 Bless the Lord, O oh my soul, O oh my soul, worship His holy name. Sing like never before, O oh my soul, I'll worship Your
amen, amen, amen. Eka pasta sengere imfura. Hallelujah. Turagushimye kuba nabe imfura nyagora ku ngoma turaguhimbaje tukuzamuriye cyubahiro uwiteka mana ikomeye tuzamuye imfura zacu imfura z'abana babantu imfura waduhaye nyagora ku ngoma uwiteka mana ikomeye satana arabarwanya uwiteka mana igira neza kugira ngo batinjira mu muhamagaro wabo satana arabarwanya kugira ngo batagukorera nyagora ku ngoma nkuko mwami wanje farao yafashe imfura zawe yirengeye akazikoresha uburetwa muri zikunta nyagora ku ngoma Ukamukira <laughs> Yo, we take a man in from here. I got your cool in my cover, cause the mammy. Cacre would be where we take a man in Giraneza. Who won that one year? First day of the Pharaoh, what was that? Who had to put an animal to that Singapore? The command of your friend, you are from Boma. If you have yours, the mammy, you have to go to the cover of the cook of the city of Yasu. Who had the cover of the city of the Yasu? Who had the cover of the city of the Yasu? Tu 
Turashoje bene data mutubabarire twarengeje ariko bya byari bikwiriye tubabarire amen eka dusenge turangiza uwiteka mana yacu dushoje amateraniro yacu turakwingiza mana ngujyane na buri wese uturinda ikibi cyose mana mana ishobora byose turakwinginze ngo tuzangire guhura ku cyumweru wese tuzi amashimwe tuvuga amashimwe yawe imitima yacu idudubiza amashimwe data yibiza ba dukoreye muri iki cyumweru gendana na bene wacu data gendana na bene data uturinda ikibi cyose ubarinde impanuka ubarinde n'igisari impanuka ukomeza uturinde rwo biza bwa we wize na rya Yesu Kristo ntuzigere ducike nege kuzageza ku Kristo ukakoze ma wize na rya Yesu senze kandi nize ye azaduha haleluya tujyana mahoro ya Kristo bene data Jesus Christ